too much out today. It might be a little too much that I'm doing this live from an airport lounge, but it's worth it, man. When they hit me and they say, hey, he's got a song out today. You could talk to him today. You just do it wherever you can, obviously. Thanks again, man, for making the time. Of course. Uh, you're kind of the master of the rollout, man. About a month ago, we kind of got a hint, right? When you posted that Jungkook stay cover, then a uh, little hints here and there. Finally, Jungkook and you in the studio, never before seen photos. And then today, too much is out. First and foremost, how are we feeling? Dude, I feel, I'm just... I'm just super stoked that I get to drop music again. I think that's been like, I've been feeling a little like um, lost maybe these past couple of years. I mean, it, it was, a, it, this is the longest time I've ever gone without releasing music. Like yeah. actual, like in, in the form of like rolling out to an album type deal. Like I've dropped little like loose singles and stuff um, sure. since, but like this is the first time we're like getting in back to like, rolling out like a project and i think um mm -hmm. i'm just feeling really relieved that like music's gonna come out and i'm just ready to keep releasing music now and not stop again you know i think yeah. that, that's that's what's most exciting is i'm just ready to keep keep going and keep exploring and saying but i mean in terms of the song and the single i mean i'm obviously stoked it's uh i woke up this morning and so it's what it's been doing and i'm just like yeah still trying to wrap my head around it i've like pumped like three coffees this morning so i'm like all over the place my brain's going like a million miles per hour but i'm i'm just i'm stoked it seems like people are, are enjoying it and i'm just very 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 stoked yeah i'm happy to be doing it with with french and, and uh jk as well because it's a, yeah it's a it's been it's been really cool to be able to you know show this um moment with them you talked a little bit about how um you know you wrote it and worked on it with bieber originally and then you know he's got his own stuff going on we're excited for that but when you were kind of looking for okay who can make this record what it's supposed to be and do it justice you know jk jungkook was the voice for you do you remember the first time you heard of jungkook or bts well it was crazy because i i heard i heard about bts when i was like 14 at school and like i like i i uh i didn't i didn't like i didn't um i wouldn't say i was necessarily like you know like paying lots of attention or was like a fan right. back then but like i i remember like somebody at school talking about them and i just kind of like so i i already been like remembered that and i kind of i don't know i, I was into a whole different realm of like music I, my, my brain was much more closed off to 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 what music i was listening to so i never sure. really like um checked it out back then and then i as i got um maybe in the past like two years i, I really started like paying attention and like seeing what was going on but the but i think the ultimate like turning point for me i've always like i've always thought that the music was really was really cool but i think the ultimate turning point for me being like actually like a f like like a fan um was i went to korea um last year and i just like i just remember going there and just seeing seeing the impact there that the music that you know that that the music over there made and how much like people just love music and um over there and how it's like you know i, I remember it was somebody's birthday I, c I can't remember who who it was um it was somebody's birthday when I went over there and there were like posters on like cafe, like random cafes in the street that was saying like, yeah. happy birthday to this person. And it was like the way that they like celebrate music. I was like, wow, this is really cool. Yeah. And that made me really do like a real deep dive and dig into the stuff. And, and um, that was, that was kind of like, I found like a whole new respect for, for, um, for it there so i think like yeah that was that was when i want to say i became like a fan fan yeah. you know i was like wow okay this is this is really cool but i've always i've always liked the music i've always thought obviously you know jk and 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 the rest of bts is super 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 talented so yeah. um but, but that was when i became like a fan i sure. think like a fan me like wow this is crazy realizing stuff there it's a little different <laughs> for sure well yeah uh, it's more interesting. yeah i think i think i think a, a cool thing is like about music in general is when you see like the impact and and what like how it how it moves people i think that's like a big thing at, at least for me of becoming a fan of something right like yeah um is like seeing seeing how how much people are moved and like impacted by it i think that's like a big that's a big thing at least for me you know seeing for that. sure and then, and then obviously liking the music but 
Well, it's, it's the collab we wanted, it's the collab we needed. Also, shout out to Central C on the track too, one of the biggest rappers out of the UK right now. I mean, this is no joke. This is not like a, let's get a couple people, a couple names on the song. This is an anthem. Uh, and it's only been out for less than 24 hours. You know, it's crazy. Uh, so congratulations to that, man. And, and you know, you're talking about the relief and the, the pressure of your shoulders. You know, you're finally able to release music again. We know the album's coming out sometime next month, hopefully. Um, with that said, just and I'll end on this because I know you got a busy day, man, and I appreciate you taking the time. I'm literally in an airport right now. I'm working from the road. You do the same quite often. Looking back at your discography, is there any project, any song, any record that you're like, that was curated, created, and made on the road? Uh, there's actually like two songs on this on this upcoming record that were made uh -oh. on the road. All right. Uh, I obviously can't. Yeah, but like there's two of them that were that were made on the road. Um, okay. So we'll take the hint. <laughs> yeah, we'll take, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to do a follow up after it comes out. You'll be like, okay, these are the two. I want to guess. Kid Leroy, man, this is the first, but hopefully not the last time we get to catch up. And I appreciate you taking the time on your release day. Dude, thanks for thanks for uh, thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it.